Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw skin. We begin by very lightly applying some blue to the areas of shade. I see that most of the drawings online are made just with pink and maybe with brown for the dark areas and that looks a bit poor, artistically speaking. In fact, it looks a bit cartoonish. If you want to draw realistic skin in a way that looks rich and full of life, apply more colors. Here I will give you an example of how to do that. Let's add yellow to the areas of light, and then light pitch to the middle tones, and also we go over the blue with this. As you see, we will be doing this drawing in layers. It is important that your first layers are very light, so that then you can apply the next ones correctly. If you put pressure on the first layers, then it is very hard to add more color. So here we are applying the light pitch to practically all the areas of skin, and here you can see more closely how we apply the blue to the areas of shade. And we go over it with the pitch. Again, we start very lightly and little by little increase the pressure. After we apply the pitch, which is like a pink color, we are still able to see the blue and the yellow. The blue that I am using for the base of this shading, as you see, is a grayish blue. It is not an intense blue. Now we apply a crimson, which is like wine, to the cheeks and to some of the darkest shadows. We start pressing more and we add a little bit more of an intense color with a darker pitch and a nectar. And we add more yellow, this time pressing a little bit more to the areas of light. Then we blend it in with the light pitch. Needless to say, this tutorial is for white, fair skin, but the principles of adding more colors in layers and blending them in may apply to other tones of flesh. I may shoot, in the future, other tutorials specific to other tones of flesh. I add more purple and blue to the areas of shade, and white to the spots that are reflecting light. With some reddish brown on the knuckles and the cheeks, we can make it more realistic. Now with a colorless blender, I am burnishing. I will read you what I wrote about burnishing in my book You Can Draw Simple Techniques for Realistic Drawings. After a layer or layers of color have been laid in, Apply a hard, rubbing stroke to mix the colors, or to intensify a single color, to produce a lustrous surface. This is generally done with a light color pencil or with a colorless blender, a pencil which has no color of its own and that is used for blending. It can also be done with the same color you used for that subject. Burnishing will get rid of the visible grain of the paper by getting the pigment to fill in all the blank spaces, making an even, more painterly surface. While I was happily and proudly reading you my book, <laughs> you may have noticed that I added some red to the cheeks and some dark brown and even black to the darkest shades. The places where you should add some extra reddish are the cheeks, the tip of the nose, the knuckles, the elbow, and maybe the shoulders, if the person was under the sun. <laughs> the list of materials, including all the colors I used, and the link for my book are in the description under the video. And it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.